Hello everyone, welcome to Evie Plus Production Studio. Hi Tom. Hi Ada. Well, today I have the pleasure to have uh, Mr. Tom. And why don't I let him introduce himself? Who are you and what do you do, Tom? <laughs> uh, Tom Hammonds, Tom Hammonds Enterprises. Um, actually, I played professional basketball for 12 years. I'm from the area locally. Um, uh, and I, uh, once I retired, I moved back to the area. Um, and didn't really, actually really didn't know what I wanted to do as far as business, business was concerned, so I got involved in government contracting. Well, let's go back up a little bit. You, uh, where are you originally from? Uh, I actually grew up in Crestview. Really? Crestview, yeah, uh, Crest Tucky, they call it Crest Tucky. So, I've heard about uh, term. I'm not really sure what that means, <laughs> but um, maybe you can tell me later. So you grew up in Crestview. Yep. Okay, so you're originally from here. Yep, born and raised in the area and um, uh, played basketball at Crestview High School. Went to Georgia Tech and uh, became a pretty good ball player and, and was actually drafted number nine in the NBA draft. Uh, played in the NBA for 12 years and uh, when I retired in 2001, I kind of really didn't know what I wanted to do. So I, um, I looked at a couple of different things. I owned a car dealership in South Carolina. Um, and ran that for about three, year, three years and sold that and uh, had a chance to move back to the area. And I'm, a, I'm just a small town guy anyway, so uh, just moving <laughs> back to the area was just a no-brainer for me. Tom and I, we've been working on some projects lately, guys, and what I uh, am excited to share with you is that his business is um, Emerald Coast Indoor Shooting uh, Range and Sports. And I want you to elaborate a little bit about that. Yeah, I How mean, did you get into it? <coughs> and I know you're doing a, some, some unique projects and I would like for you to share with the audience what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Emerald Coast Indoor Shooting and Sport is a local gun range that we opened up in uh, Valparaiso, Florida. Uh, and, we, oh, and I opened it up because, I mean, I'm an avid shooter. I like to, uh, I like to shoot guns and, and, uh, and, and collect guns as well. How and long have you been practicing this? Uh, you know what, just on and off pretty much. Hobby, I would. Yeah, just pretty, you much, start a, from a, pretty hobby, much a right? hobby. Yeah, pretty okay. much a hobby. I mean, when I played basketball, I mean, I was able to get, to get some money to probably start buying some guns. So, uh, and, and I started actually collecting guns then. Um, but I would always come back to the area during the off season um, and, and would like to shoot, but there were no places to shoot. Sure. Um, I think the no, nearest indoor gun range to uh, to here used to be, or, or still is, in, in uh, is in Gulf Breeze, and that's 45, 50 miles away from 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 where I live, not from where I, where I live. And I said, man, this is crazy. I mean, there's nothing for with all the people that we have in the area, with all the military people, uh, Crestview, you have Fort Walton Beach, Freeport, um, Niceville, Valparaiso. I mean, it, that we don't have any place around here to be able to shoot. And uh, the more I got involved in in, uh, in the researching uh, uh, indoor gun ranges, I, I kind of figured out why nobody had done it because it's, it's an extremely tough project to uh, to, uh, to to in, to to actually take on. So, um, uh, but I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. So, uh, so I, I, I kept moving forward. I, I got involved with ATF and, and was approved and um, bought the land in Valparaiso. Yeah, I saw that. And you started <clears throat> that from scratch, basically. You yep. build the whole thing. How long did it take to do that? Well, it, it, it took us a while. Probably took us maybe uh, from start to finish a good year and a half. Okay. Uh, two years. Um, uh, we, uh, my, whole, my whole goal and ambition with building an indoor gun range was to have a beautiful facility. Uh, being, being that I played in the ba professional basketball for 12 years, I was able to visit a lot of different places throughout the country uh, as far as gun ranges are concerned. So I kind of took pe bits and pieces from different gun ranges to kind of get an idea of what we wanted to do at our own gun range. And so that, so my main focus was to make sure we had something that was beautiful for the, for, for, for when somebody walks into the gun range and they see uh, the, the, the cabinetry and the, and the guns and how we have everything laid out, they, they, I would think that they would look at that as being a, a gun range from a bigger city. I have um, to admit, myself, I've, I've been to several entertainment in this type of field of mm -hmm, shooting and yeah. uh, I have not quite seen uh, so much attention to the detail. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are treating it just a fun entertainment, but it sounds like, and, and working with you, seeing it, being involved there more, the attention that you pay uh, to the detail and the quality is definitely something that it stands up. I've not seen often in, in the past. Well that's, a, well, that's a compliment that we take very well, and I mean, that's, and that's something that we wanted to do but because we wanted to have something that was beautiful for the area. Not beautiful for the area, but beautiful anywhere. Uh, and still make it very affordable, affordable for people. People, I think people come in and look at the, the when they walk in the first the front doors, they look at it and say, oh my God, this place has got to be tremendously expensive. But it's not like that. 
we wanted to have a, a beautiful product uh, that people could come and enjoy and make it very afford very affordable. And it is. Um, now I know that besides the shooting indoor shooting range, you also offer some other fun projects. I, I, can I call them that way or? Yeah, I guess. What, what are you talking about? Let's talk about your AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, I'm an I'm an avid uh, rifle collector. Um, we uh, we actually have our manufacturer's license to be able to manufacture our own our own weapons. And uh, one of the weapons that we just finished and uh, platform that we just launched is our own uh, custom AR plat AR-15 platform, uh, ECISS Emmercoast Indoor Shooting and Sport uh, AR-15 platform. And it kind of goes back to kind of how I did the range. I mean, we wanted to have a great product. And have it affordable for people to be able to uh, uh, to be able to enjoy it and to be able to afford it. Can you elaborate a little bit about the AR-15 when you say we own manufacturing? You're like, you know, I'm not very understand. I don't understand it all about it, and I'm sure many people don't. And you are one of the first in our area, yes. if not the only one. If I, I'm not sure, are we? Like, I don't know if we're, I don't know if we are the only manufacturer in the area. Um, what we do for is this the, particular for this particular for this particular platform, as far as the AR-15. Yeah. Uh, what we do is that we take our lowers, take a, get a, a lower, and we actually custom engrave our logo and everything on the lower. Oh wow! Um, and in uh, the barrels. Uh, uh, the triggers, everything we custom order ourselves. Uh, we assemble the guns right there in house, um, and uh, and we make it affordable. And that's the main thing. And a lot of I think a lot of platforms that you would see as far as AR-15 platforms, they can go from 800 to 2,000 dollars, and our platform starts at a little over 500 dollars. And it's something that everybody can afford, and and and, and, and something that's a great quality product, um, and something we can be proud of. You also offering uh, classes. You also offering, I, I, as, as far as I know, gunsmith classes. Right. All of those. Um, what is your intention offering all of these? Um, not just fun, but educational to help people to understand more about the gun industry. That is not a violence, but yet it's a product that you can actually enjoy. Absolutely. And, and, and that's and that's a good point. I mean, we want the gun range to. I don't. I want people to look at the range not necessarily being a gun range where people just come. That's all they do is shoot. I mean, we offer educational courses. Uh, um, we have a free shooters clinic for people that have never shot a gun before to kind of get them acclimated to how the, how you shoot a gun. Uh, it's completely free. Um, you shoot our gun. You shoot our ammo. You take instruction for 30 minutes. Uh, go out to the range and actually shoot with our instructors, and you learn how to shoot. Uh, in a, at a proper and safe in a safe way, uh, but we have a CC concealed carry weapons classes. Uh, we have an all women's concealed carry class uh, that a lot of the women enjoy, um, and we we do a myriad of different things throughout throughout the month and throughout the year for our for our uh, for our members and our customers. Um, but we want the range to be uh, um, not necessarily for for, to, for people to be known for coming to shooting at the range. We want it to be a community event where I mean we have TVs in the lounge. Uh, in the in the lobby where you can come if, you, if you're not doing anything one day and you want to come eat lunch at the, at the ranch come eat lunch and just relax and have a good time and and, and enjoy the atmosphere I mean uh, and it may be a little bit louder but but, but, but what but. I love about your atmosphere if you guys haven't checked out I really encourage you to go because uh, I just went there just to uh, talk to, talk with your staff with, yeah. with, the, with the people that work yeah. for you and with you and they're very well uh, instructed they're very knowledgeable about right. the product and it was just fun enough to just understand right because I don't understand you right. know and it was yeah. very helpful and uh, I think that's a very good um, value that you provide you, through your uh, facility you're only as good as your people uh, as far as I'm concerned I mean a basketball team it takes five people it takes more than that to be able to win a basketball game so it's the same thing with business I mean my my backbone is my people uh, Matthew Heflin is my director of operations. I mean, we've got a lot of great, great women, men and women that work with me. Uh, and if it wasn't for those uh, people, I, it, it wouldn't be successful. Now, to go back to a couple of other questions, we're going through a difficult, challenging time right now. Right. What is? Tell me, how do you do it as far as ra shooting range um, at this time of year crisis? Well, it is. It is definitely a tough, uh, tough time for our country. Um, uh, but at the same time, we, we, we try to do as much as we can to normalize um, the day for people. Um, uh, it, 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 we're, we're, we're not closing. Uh, we modified our hours uh, a couple of times to be able to uh, comply with CDC and, and uh, social distancing. 
Um, but we still want people to come out and enjoy the range. I mean, you, you, we'll, we'll, we'll bring you to the range. If you want to shoot, you'll, you'll, you'll shoot and, and the next stall will be open. So, I mean, that <clears throat> social distancing, we, we definitely take that into practice at the range. Um, all of the uh, high traffic areas are, are wiped down uh, three or four, five, six times a day. Um, so, so that's very important for, for us uh, to, to continue to keep, continue to keep doing. But, but we don't want to just close up and go home. I mean, because that's not, uh, to me, that's not um, how we were made and how we were built. I, I think that it's, it's important for us to be able to get out throughout the day. And, and uh, uh, we've been cooped up in our homes for the last weeks. two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> the kids are driving us crazy. I mean, they, Tell you know, me about your, it. your wife, your husband <laughs> driving you crazy. And you know what? Come out to the range and enjoy yourself. You not you don't have to shoot. Just come out and just just get some just, just get some new, new, different scenery. Now, let me ask you this: Are you concerned about? The, the spreading just because she, yes I agree with you people uh, I feel like we still need to live life in some normality in order to keep the sanity I agree do you a little are you a little concerned about you know the possibility of somebody getting a, a you know I mean we, we minimize that as much as we can um, uh, but ultimately I mean I, my faith in uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is, 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 is what I believe in thank and, you uh, and no matter what happens I mean he's always in control so that's kind of how I look at it. So, same here, same so, perspective. Uh, but but, uh, but on, on that front, though, we do as much as we can to minimize that. I mean, taking care of our customers and, and my, co my co-workers is very important. So, and we'll continue to keep doing that, but we're, at the same time, we're going to keep continuing living our lives. Now, what would you tell the, some of the audience that are, some of them struggling with, through this period of time, and you being an entrepreneur, and me working with you, and when you know having that energy and, and pushing each other and stay and support each other businesses <coughs> what a piece of advice that you have from your successful entrepreneurship journey that you can uh, tell the audience well don't quit I mean uh, don't quit I mean this is just a, um, a small setback that our country has, has, has had to endure um, but it, it, it will definitely pass I mean there are some things that I applaud uh, the government that, that they've been able to come out and to uh, provide a stimulus package that would help uh, alleviate some of the, the, the pain that we're, we're going through financially. Um, but don't quit. It, it'll pass. Um, uh, continue to keep uh, staying safe and, and, and love your loved ones now. Um, I tell you what, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different world we're living in now compared to where we used to live in. And, and you know, we have to do the best we can to uh, protect our loved ones and uh, protect ourselves. But, but, but the main, my, main, my main message is to don't quit and, and keep moving forward. I like that. I do like that, and I agree with you. Um, everyone, if you haven't checked Emerald Coast Indoor Shooting Range and Sport, I highly encourage Emerald you. Emerald Coast Indoor Shooting and Sport. Well, there you go. I do. I messed it up. Why don't you say it for me? <laughs> Emerald Coast Indoor Shooting and Sport in Valparaiso, Florida. Come on out and check us out. You guests know I always uh, <laughs> twist things around to my uh, <laughs> background, being here uh, from a different country. So my customers and my clients are very, very, very uh, supportive of that because I'm Absolutely. different. Absolutely. And But here's the good news. They're getting it. So if you're not getting me, I'm sure you got Tom. Tom, thank you so much for being here. And thank you very much. You've done a great job for, uh, for the range, and uh, we look forward to many years to come. Uh, you guys, please share this video. Spread the love. Stay kind. And see you next time.